Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my final review on my collaboration with In Love Arts and their diamond painting. Um, I was asked by In Love Arts, all the links will be below, uh, to do a collaboration with them originally for something else that they sell in their store it was uh, die cuts and stamps but I am not a stamper and I don't have a die cutting machine so I did notice that they had diamond painting on their website and I've always wanted to try it so I asked if I could instead do a collaboration with them on that and they graciously accepted so they sent me two different diamond paintings this one I have completed and this one is still in the box so Today is going to be a final review on my thoughts um, about diamond, the diamond painting, the product itself, the company, all of that. Okay, so first, without glaring you, this is how the box came in the mail. It They had it in a padded envelope wrapped up, but it still got banged up a bit. No big deal to me. Uh because everything was inside and everything went fine. Uh, so there was that. Let me get one thing out of my closet here real fast to show you. Okay, so with the diamond painting, I'll have the links below to the two diamond paintings that they graciously sent me, this being one of them. And along with it comes the tray to hold the diamonds in, this wax that you put on your tool to pick up the diamonds, and then this little, it's a bag of little Ziploc bags to use, okay? Now, what I ended up doing, and this has nothing to do with In Love Arts, but I went ahead and purchased a box. They look like little Tic Tacs, little Tic Tac holders, honestly see there this right okay and I put the number on it and the diamonds in here so it's just easier to take from place to place whenever I'm working on my diamond painting now let's talk about the company itself um, in all honesty it was a fabulous group to work with um, every time I had a question I would email them and they emailed me within 24 to 48 hours very sweet the lady was that I spoke with each time and yeah if I had any questions at all they answered them right away okay so in that respect it was really great working with the company and then I had a few questions, okay, before I wanted to ask the company a few questions before this final review of mine. And let's see. So some of the issues that I had, let's go into that. I, for, well, okay, first of all, I thoroughly enjoyed doing this. It was relaxing. It was fun. It's something different. If you see all those sparkles on there. Yeah, it was really fun and I really enjoyed it. Not sure how I'm going to frame it as yet, um, but this is the key, okay, right here. And it tells you like the little symbols that are on here and they coincide with a number of the drill, which is what they call the, the diamonds, okay? So you have all these, right? Well, one of the problems I had was deciphering some of the symbols, okay? Whether it was in the key itself or on the canvas itself, okay? Now, this is like a plastic canvas and it is textured. And so I'm not really sure if it was like the texture that uh, made the symbols hard to read, some of them. Like, let's see if I can get that in a light. Like that one there. Like, obviously, that's clearly an L, that's clearly an X, that's clearly a P, an A, and so forth. But when I got down to some of these right here, I mean, the red background helped, but that is like a check mark, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, and then some of these down here, which kind of look like a dot, kind of look like I don't know what, um, some arrows involved. It was just very hard for me to decipher. So I did give them that feedback and asked if it was possible for them to send along. I know it would probably increase the price, 
but if they could send along this key on a flat piece of paper, right? So that I could clearly decipher because this part of the canvas is, if you can see, yeah, this part, hear that? It is textured while the canvas behind the diamonds is not textured. So I could see more clearly the symbols on the canvas itself than I could really see them here. So it was kind of a guessing game for, for some of them, believe it or not, it was kind of a guessing game. Um, so when I asked, I, I did tell them, I sometimes I had a difficult time differentiating the symbols on the canvas itself. Um, I know it would increase the cost possibly, but is there any way to send a printout of the symbols on a flat piece of paper? I do know that some companies that sell diamond painting do that. I'm not sure which companies, but, uh, but I do, I'm pretty sure that some of the companies give you a piece of copy paper that has the key on it as well. So that I think would be more helpful. Now her answer to me was, um, that that issue could not be solved for the time being. I guess she's meaning that they can't send a piece of paper with the key on it uh, because, or the problem can't be solved with the kind of difficulty in deciphering the code here. And she said that that was because um, it's a problem with, I guess, with the factory production. So... She said, if the change requires a lot of work, all the products need to be reproduced. So I'm not sure if there was a communication barrier or what, but what I'm simply asking for is a printed copy of this right here on a flat piece of paper so that I can clearly see what the symbols are so that I know which one goes where. Right. Just only for some of them I had an issue with. Like I said, I mean, you know, you can see it close up here where you can tell that is definitely an F. That's definitely a 7. But this one right here... Oops, sorry, I bumped you. Like these two right here, it's hard for me to tell what that is, you know? And then there are other ones that have a red background and another symbol on them. And there are other ones that had a purple background with a different kind of symbol, but some of the symbols were very similar. So it was just hard to decipher. It's not a huge deal because I still love the way it came out and I think it came out beautifully, but just, you know, I would rather have the, the key on a sheet of paper so that it's nice and flat and it's easy to easier to read. Um, let me see what else. Okay. The other not really issue, but let me go into how many they supply you with loads o diamonds okay loads and i understand why because these are teeny tiny little things I'm, I'm trying to get a few of these holders out for you okay now these first two rows in my whoops in my little holder here these right here right here these first two rows hold all the diamonds that went into this diamond painting, okay? Now, if you'll, whoa, if you'll notice, these are the leftovers, see? A lot of leftovers, which is fabulous, but to my knowledge, all diamond paintings from different companies, the colors and symbols are not universal. They will be, I do believe, if you order them from In Love Arts, they will be, I think they will be the same. Although the second diamond painting that I got, the, here are the diamonds for that diamond painting and none of the numbers, I'm pretty sure none of the numbers were the same. None of them were the same as this one. So my question to her was, of course, are they universal? And... Um, I was assuming that they sent you these little Ziploc bags here to put your leftover diamonds in to store possibly for another project. Sorry for the glare. And the thing is, is that there are only 10 little baggies in here and I've got 28 um, leftovers. I think I only fully used up one 
of the colors completely. I have leftovers of every other single color, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I did tell them I had a lot of diamonds left over after completing my first diamond painting. However, I was only supplied with 10 little zip bags. Um, of course, I would like to save the extra diamonds for future paintings, but cannot figure a way to store them. Of course, that's my problem, not theirs, right? So, but the question was, are the colors universal to all diamond paintings and or are they universal to all the diamond paintings you sell in your shop? Okay. So her answer, let's see, her answer was regarding the remaining diamonds, the symbols of, of the colors in our diamonds are generally the same. Generally the same, although I have two diamond paintings and none of the numbers are the same, which, which is fine. Um, that's not a complaint. And I'm not complaining at all about any of this. I'm just merely letting you know my thoughts on it. Um, she said you can save them for your next use but usually we will have more diamonds for each diamond painting as a backup. And yes, of course, because goodness knows if, you know, a child or, you know, um, of course it shouldn't be around a, a very young child because these are very small parts, um, or any pets or anything like that, you know, aside from, you know, the possibility of them eating something they shouldn't, uh, you could easily get knocked you know, your your diamonds get knocked and they spill everywhere. That's why I use this lipped, um, like, plastic thing to hold everything that I'm using for that for the particular project that I'm using it for so that none of the diamonds escape anywhere, okay? Um, where was I going with that? So, yeah, all these leftovers, I have no idea what to do with them because... Um, they don't match any of the numbers on the next diamond painting that I'm doing. So I got a lot of diamonds left over. And yeah, so if you're into diamond painting, leave a comment below. Like, what do you do with all the leftover diamonds? Do you save them? Do you buy? I, I, I can't see myself buying a whole bunch of these holders because the numbers aren't going to be the same with each diamond painting, if that makes sense. So let me know what you do. Do you toss them? Do you save them? Do I don't I don't know what to do with them. So just a, it's just a question again. So um yeah, she just said that, you know, handle the diamonds, the remaining diamonds any way I like. <laughs> so anywho. So yeah, so my final thoughts on this is, and again, this holder right here does not come from In Love Arts. It came from Amazon. I'll leave the link below to where I got it from. Have no idea what I'm going to do with the 28 diamonds I have left from this project. No clue what to do with them. Because again, this is my second project here. The, the Just this row and a half is for my second project and none of the numbers match. So none of these colors are the same with this painting as they are going to be with my next painting. So yeah, I've got a lot of diamonds here left over. But final impressions on this, I love it. I love the way it came out and um, I was very happy with the way it came out. None of the diamonds have fallen off. Um, I did what one thing I did do is uh, I'm still keeping the plastic over it you know, I know it's glary, but I did take my brayer and rolled it over to make sure that everything was adhered nicely. And I keep the plastic over it because they're right around the edge. There is sticky, right? And also, let me just show you in between these diamonds. If you can see that there is a space, right? There are little spaces with stickiness behind them. Now, I did see when I was looking up uh, ways to, I'll leave this off, ways to uh, frame your diamond painting. One of the things suggested not putting the glass in your frame to let, because that'll, you know, take away from the shine and the sheen of the, and the sparkly of the diamonds, which I get. But can I tell you what a dust magnet that would be? I wouldn't suggest that, but at any rate, so yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to frame this because it's an odd size. Uh, it's a seven by seven and frames here in the US don't come in seven by seven. So 
yeah, I'm going to have to look for a frame and figure out how I can frame it. But all in all, I was very satisfied with this product. Um, I would order another one from them. Uh, they graciously gave me two different designs, which I'll link below. Uh, but yes, I would order from them more diamond paintings. Uh, they are very relaxing to do. They are something that you can take, you know, to your couch or to your desk or wherever. It is portable, uh, sort of portable. Let me put that in. I just have this little tray here that I use to store everything in the diamonds and everything. What I do, what I end up doing is just putting my little holder here, right? It fits right, sorry for the glare. It fits right in here. And then I pour out my diamonds on here and everything is contained in this little box. So just a little tip for you, if you're going to be diamond painting, that is a way of keeping everything contained. So again, the company is In Love Arts. I'll have all the links down below for you to go check them out. Uh, it is in it. The other thing too is it's a fairly inexpensive art project and it's a lot of fun and you get this beautiful result in the end. Um, I don't, th I think the two that I ordered and one is super large too, not like super large, but it's big. It's, it's large. The other painting that I got and I believe that it came to under $20. Yeah. I this one was about 5, 6, 7 dollars maybe. That's it. So, yeah, it's a fairly inexpensive art project to do and it's a lot of fun. So, if you're interested, check them out. Check them out. They were really nice to work with, very nice to work with. If I had any questions, like I said, they answered me within 24 to 48 hours. So that's always nice. And they were always very, very sweet to me. So check out In Love Arts. They also have a lot of other things on their website besides diamond paintings. So if you're interested, head on over to them and check them out. So I thank you for your time and sharing it with me. And I hope you'll check them out and give diamond painting a go because it is a lot of fun. I'll talk to y'all real soon. Thanks again. Bye.